Greetings everyone, and today I would like to talk about the ankle bones and ankle bone genders. I mean, what I mean, um, this is going to be an ankle bone, and this is going. This face is going to be a sheep. This is a camel, goat, and a horse. And of course, um, you know, children that pay you know this attention to a small details will ask a question: Why there is you know two different types of camel? And of course, uh, the answer is since we are talking about the animals, animals have a gender, and um, one of them is going to be male and female. Uh, so um, this is going to be the head. You have the horns, and this is going to be the butt. And um, uh, if the head is, you know, rotating, you know, anti-clockwise, it is generally believed to be female. And if uh, the head is rotating uh, clockwise, it's generally believed to be male. So if you rotate it, and you will see that uh, a, in the case of a camel, this is going to be a male, this is going to be female. But in the case of a horse, this is going to be female, and this is going to be male. So a piece called a camel is quite, you know, this, you know, Good looking, and you can create a swastika using this. Uh, you can take only you know one type of uh, ankle bones, and these all going to be one um, one gender. Uh, these are going to be all male, and you can create so-called male swastika using like this, and. Uh, there is a question, uh, can you create swastika uh, using, you know, this other gender? I mean, let's remove this uh, to male and let's put, you know, to female. So, uh, this does not look like a swastika. So, uh, you create a swastika using only, you know, one gender ankle bone and that's why I generally believe that the swastika has, you know, some kind of a gender and it depends on its uh, you know rotation and let's so this is uh, this is this is ro rotating like this and this is rotating the anti clockwise so um, this is going to be female and this is going to be male and uh, let us take you know only male and female ankle bones and and try to create a yin yang and uh, if you put like this, uh, the heads are you know looking like this, and if you put like this, uh, this one is rotating this way, and another one is rotating this way. So you cannot create yin yang using only you know this male and female ankle bones. You create um, yin yang uh, using only you know one uh, one gender stuff. I mean, like this. This is going to be in like a, a yin yang like thing. So um, I guess you know yin yang should have a gender, and um, uh, you you cannot uh, you know, say that you know this uh, yin yang is made from a male and female um, parts. Uh, I mean, uh, yin yang is made from a two like a male or two female. Something like that. Yes. So this is this rotating this way, another rotating this way, and these are going to be, you know, identical, the same gender ankle bones. Well, uh, that's pretty much for today, and thanks for watching.